all right guys in this video we will discuss uh trade trade opportunity so let's see first in uh, this is nifty now here you can see nifty form um, double top pattern somewhere here uh, i can say this is called double top first and the second top and right now here you can see this is called neckline at the level of one four uh, two three zero this is a neckline so we are we are expecting if price break this level and it is a probability to hit the level of uh, let me draw um, uh, this is 50 exponential moving average this one and at the level of 13 1 3 7 3 0 all right so we are expecting if price break this level so next the support is 1 3 7 3 0 13,750 and right now here you can see price are running in this range so this is called uh, trend channel so right now here you can see price are running in this channel but next here you can see price try to break this level but fail and exactly retrace toward this channel all right so at that time here you can see this is the supporting line now 1400 oh sorry 14230 from as a support now we have seen there are two scenario right now one if price break this supporting line it is a probability to test the level of 13730 or it may be a sideway so like that all right price again push up to this level and it it uh, it will become sideway all right so like that so we have seen two uh, two scenario now how we will trade because this area is a key level all right why key level because there is a supporting line there are 20 moving averages if you wanna see the previous market behavior price was bouncing off 20 moving average have you seen so exactly right now price are near 20 moving average so it may bounce again or if price break this supporting line so it will continue toward the downside all right this is called key level so how we trade here so let's jump to in a small time frame uh, like h4 now h4 here you can see they form as a support uh, you can see this is a 50 moving average have you seen uh, price was bouncing off 50 and right now here and that is why this is the key level it break this level so it will continue toward downside and it may bounce again from this area so how we will identify so i'll show you in a small time frame now see in this uh, h1 chart now uh, it will look like different all right now h1 chart there are uh, this one 150 exponential moving average now let me remove this one okay now i can see here all right so in that case we will use here breakout trading strategy so i think uh, everybody knows that one so we are looking for a candle which is open and close should be uh, below the supporting line of one four two three zero this is our supporting line so after that we will place our uh, sell order and we are looking for a small candle small body candle if uh, price form like a big candle like that so we never trade all right so we are waiting a pullback to this level all right uh, means now it's becoming a support so later it will be uh, resistant so after that we will enter here first scenario all right so we will use here breakout trading strategy uh, next uh, price may bounce uh, from this area right so like here we are looking for a bullish pin bar all right bullish candlestick pattern like uh, a one white shoulder uh, angle bullish engulfing pin bar uh, hammer whatever you say so we are looking for that type of 
confirmation so once they appear so we will place our buy order and our target will be around 147 uh, 20 you can say like 20 that will be our uh, resistance all right and our target profit target so that is the nifty and let's check it last uh, top uh, gainer stock uh, first uh, this one grassim and uh, let's jump to grassim mm. and this one okay so first see in a daily time frame and they okay uh, here you can see price are running an uptrend and if you now see weekly chart there are 200 uh, moving average just and yesterday you can see a long bullish candle here you can see price uh, pull up to the level of 11 almost uh, 07 but price not able to sustain and again pull back all right to the level of 1064 uh, so let's see uh, for intraday uh, h1 uh, here you can see price pull back and uh, somewhere they form as a uh, pin bar here here is pin bar and then now uh, this one supporting line and we are looking for pull back to the level uh, 1040 price pull back to this level and from any bullish signal so definitely we will go for buy somewhere here so remember this key point or if price pull back to the level 990 and we are looking for buy after forming a uh, buy confirmation right after getting a buy confirmation so this is uh, grassim and the next upl uh upl this one in a small time frame like h1 price are running in a sideway and if you want to see in a daily time frame is it there okay uh, here you can see the bullish candle and we are looking for buy uh, after breaking this uh, resistance line somewhere here so this is called resistance line uh, price rejection again and again again and again again and again and we are looking for a breakout candle and here we will apply breakout trading strategy so once they appear so definitely we'll go for buy and next sipla uh, okay sipla all right this is a sipla mm, let's see daily uh, here you can see daily sipla forming a uh, double bottom and bouncing of moving average 50 and uh, this candlestick pattern called one white shoulder candlestick pattern so we are looking for buy and here you can see price pull back near a supporting line so me here we can see this is called supporting line and a kind of most recent thesis point so here here and somewhere here and here and now it's becoming as a support so we are expecting price form like that and uh, we are expecting that price will continue toward the upside mm, let's see in a small time frame like 15 minutes all right and the 15 minutes here you can see price uh, forming a higher high higher low according to price action method so we are expecting that it will continue to add the upside so we need a buy confirmation all right so let's see another uh hero motor sipla already yeah hero motor mm, let's jump to hero motor where is the hero motor corporation okay and the first daily see the pattern so price uh, extremely uh, overbought right now and uh, so i'm not interested in that case here you can see 
and we need a pullback correct pullback so where is the support so we must find out the support so support would be somewhere here because this is the most recent swing point not nearest uh, this is most uh, we can say um, nearest not uh, supporting level so here you can see and we need a pullback again all right if price pull back to the level of 3 3 uh, 5 0 we are looking for buy but uh, here i'm not looking for buy price are over both zone in a uh, zone in a daily time frame and another uh, axis bank and let's jump to axis bank one two three four five all right uh, axis bank and where is the axis bank axis, axis bank okay all right let's jump to daily and the axis bank uh, here you can see some uh, market behavior and pattern so they are creating higher high higher low and at that time price was sideways and price gone up now again pull back so what what we have seen here and now you can see we have seen some support are there and in that case uh, price broke and this area you can see this is called sideways later price broke this area again price pull back to the supporting level so we are looking for buy above 633 three. all right and we need a buy confirmation and let's just jump to in a small time frame and now see this is the 15 minute what happened okay not loading properly okay okay all right all right here you can see and we need a uh, so here in that case i'm not looking for buy in axis bank uh, because uh, you can see large time frame they are running in an uptrend small time frame they are running in a downtrend but i'm not interested to trade anymore here so all right skip this one and sun farmer last one sun farmer mm. okay sun farmer still downtrend okay sun farmer we are looking for buy above uh, five uh, ninety five nine zero we are looking for buy above this area because they are forming a bullish engulfing pattern now let's jump to a small time frame like a 15 minute and they are running in a downtrend uh, in a 15 minute but they're almost near uh, 200 exponential moving average if price break the level this 200 exponential moving average so definitely we'll go for buy according to the price action method uh, they're creating higher high and it is probability to create a new high. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.